Hey everyone, Joe here again. In today's really short video, I'm gonna show you how I like to personally cut sweet potatoes into fries. Now, I'm not a professional chef or anything like that, but I have a way that I like to do it at home that I think is really simple, really easy, and doesn't rely on you having a super expensive knife, which I've seen in some other videos on this topic. So before I get started, I just wanna let you guys know that I'm gonna be showing this two ways. The first potato I'm gonna show is I'm gonna show you an easy way to do it if you're not that great with a knife. It's a bit slower and less efficient than the second way I'm gonna show, but in the second way, I'm gonna show you how to cut them into fries really, really fast and really, really efficiently. So let me get the cutting board out, turn the camera around, and then I'll cut a few sweet potatoes for you guys. Let's do it. So here's that uh, ceramic knife I was talking about. Yeah, it wasn't too expensive. I think it was around $30 from Bed Bath & Beyond or something like that. But let me start to show you my quick and easy method for cutting sweet potato fries. First, I cut off both ends of the sweet potato. And you can see we're dealing with a long one here. I have a couple others that we're gonna do as well. Then I cut the sweet potato right down the middle. Depending on how long the sweet potato is, I might end up doing this twice or into uh, thirds or fourths or something like that. But anyway, then I'm gonna cut the sweet potato into small strips. Depending on how thin or thick you want your fries, is that's up to you. You can cut them any way you want, or you can even do them in half if you want really thick fries. And then I just take these little layers and make little fries out of them. I mean, hey, they're not perfect, but they're Perfect for me, perfect for a dinner at home. So let me finish this up and then I'll do another potato to show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I've got this longer potato and I'll show you what I meant before by cutting it into thirds or quarters. But first, let's cut the ends off. This one's got a little black spot. I'll probably just cut that off as well. All right. Now, to make things a little more manageable, especially if you don't have a great knife, you can cut it like that, and then you simply repeat the process. So, into little strips. Into little strips. And then if you want from here, when they're grouped up like this, uh, it doesn't always come out as good as when you do it the other way, but you can just slice down like that. Still, you get really, really good fries. All right, I really hope you guys found this video useful. I'm going to be including a link in the description for a visual guide on how to do this. It's basically just what I explained right now with a few pictures. That way you can keep it handy on your mobile phone. It might be easier to go through than on the video. And if you guys found this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to my channel for more helpful kitchen tips just like this one. See you later.